What's up friends? Welcome back to Thief of Joy. My name is Erin. Thank you for stopping by today. We are going to be doing a little Walmart haul. I went to get my daughter's Easter stuff to put in her basket and so I wanted to show you guys what I got and I also ended up getting a bunch of 2T spring summer clothes for her as well. So I'm excited to show you guys what Walmart has right now. I always think they have the cutest little kids clothes and they're really decently priced. So I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up today. First of all, this is my fail of trying to do the space buns, I guess that's what they're called. I don't know. I do this for my daughter all the time, so I thought I would try it out on myself. Turns out it's not as easy to do on me as it is on her and I probably look five years old as well so but that's okay honestly I probably dress the same as my daughter most days so I mean why not have my hair the same as her as well so anyways just wanted to show you guys my hairstyle not trying to be a spice girl but um I haven't I actually need to wash my hair tonight so this was my way of like just trying to throw it up. Anyways, so I'm going to go through everything I got at Walmart and then I'll show you guys how I am going to put together her Easter bag. All right, so let's just start with, um, I got some more pull-ups. She's in 2T, 3T right now. I haven't gotten the pull-ups brand. I usually get Pampers. I think they're Pampers Cruisers 360 and they're, they're pull-ups as well. Um, but these were on sale and they're Mickey Mouse. So I know she'll be excited about these diaper changes. I don't know if any of you have a toddler or a baby or whatever, any kids, um, diaper changes can definitely be a challenge. And so I'm trying to make it a little more fun for her, I guess you could say. So picked up some pull-ups and we'll go through the clothes first. This little dress I thought was super cute and this may actually end up being her Easter dress. I thought um, depending on the weather, I may put some like little sandals on her or if it's a little bit cooler, she does have some cowboy boots that she could wear with this as well. But I thought this was a fun spring dress all together and I like the colors. So it may end up being her Easter dress as well. This dress was $9.98 at Walmart. And then I got her some, these are all just pants. They're the Garan, Garanimal, Garanimals, whatever brand, I'm oh, sorry. This is the Wonder, Wonder Nation brand, this dress. And so I got a bunch of 2T pants for her. I know that even though it's starting to get a little bit hotter outside, she could still wear these pants to school because I'm sure it's a little bit cooler inside anyways. I thought I got one more pair. Oh yeah, and I got a black pair too. And so these were, there's not prices on here. These were $3.98 each. So I didn't think that that was a bad, a bad deal. White, black, um, gray, and pink. So pretty good staple colors that she can wear with a lot of things. And then I did get her a pair of little jean shorts, 2T as well. These were $5.98. So they look a little bit small. Well, they're stretchy. Um, I just worry about how fast she's gonna grow. Like, should I have gotten 3T or is 2T okay? And then just some more little t-shirts. I got this little checkered shirt. Um, this was $5.98. And then I also got the little shorts that match this outfit. So it's just a little set. So the shorts were the shorts were $4.98. 
And then I got these shorts as well. She actually already has the shirt that um, the same pattern shirt that goes with this. So I thought I would just get this, go ahead and get the shorts. And these were $4.98 as well. I got this little shirt. It says cool to be kind. This one was $4.98. And then this one says, see you later. I thought this would be cute when we go to the beach. She could wear this. Um, this is $4.98. And then this little smiley face shirt. That was cute. This one looks a little wider than the other ones, but whatever. Um, and this one actually was on sale for $2. And I think that is it for her clothes. I did end up getting myself some tennis shoes, just some white tennis shoes. This is a No Boundaries brand. And these were, let's see, I think they were like $20. These were $16.98. So I got these to wear just to work. Um, I'm really trying to get like more staple pieces. And by that, I mean like kind of plain so that I can kind of minimize how many clothes I have, but I have a bunch of pieces that I can piece together um, in multiple different ways. So I thought white shoes would be a good way to go for that adventure. All right. So at Walmart, um, when you walk in, of course they have all their Easter stuff out and they had kind of like, I guess like a target, they have like a dollar section. Um, Walmart kind of had that going on too. Although most of these things were probably, um, $5. So I will go through things I got for myself first. I got this little drain strainer. Um, we do not have a garbage disposal, so we have to buy these a lot so that it catches the food so it doesn't go down the sink. And I think that's the only thing I got for me. Okay, so for her Easter basket, I went with this dinosaur pail and because she actually really, really loves dinosaurs. And this little pail was... This, okay, Dino Bucket was $1.48. So I figured she could use this as an Easter basket. It might be a little too big for her, but if she doesn't, we can put some toys in her, like in her playroom. We could like put her, some of her toys or whatever in here. So this is the Easter basket that I got her. I got this little, um, I guess it's a cheese board, but We've really been working on just different skills like cutting. And so I thought I would get this little board. This could be Flora's cutting board. And so whenever she wants to help me cut a banana or fruit or whatever we're eating or snacking on, um, I can get this, this can, I can put this in her drawer with all of her cups and plates and whatnot because she does have her own drawer that she has access to. So if I tell her, hey, can you go give me a cup please? Um, she can go to that drawer and get it out. So my go the goal is that if I um, put this in her drawer and I say, hey, let's go get your cutting board and so that we can cut up a banana, she will know to go get this out of her drawer. And it's pretty light so that she can carry it herself. I thought about even putting it, her name on it, but I think with all the cutting, it might just fade. So I'll probably just leave this as it is. But this will go in her Easter basket. And this was five, $5. It was in that little $5 below section. The next thing I got was this little xylophone. It comes with a little wooden, um, what do you call it, mallet. And um, I think she'll enjoy this because she really loves music. And we've been wanting to get her a set of musical instruments, but we just haven't done it yet but I saw this and I was like, oh yeah, she would definitely love this. And this was $5 as well. We also got her a little tambourine. This was in that little section too. It was also $5. And again, I think she would enjoy, she has music class at school and she really enjoys like, they have little balls with rice or whatever in them and they shake them and whatnot. And so I think this would be fun for her to have at home 
and we can have our own little music class. I got her, this is also in that section, it was $5. It's a little canteen, and I don't know if she actually will use this, um, but you can use it, you take this off and you can use it as a bag, so maybe she could walk around with it. I don't know, I just really thought it was too cute not to get, and it was the last one, and so obviously other people were grabbing them, so I wanted to get this, but I thought this would be a cute little thing to put in her basket. Um, maybe we can fill it up whenever we go to the park or something. Maybe I might regret this because she probably will just like spill it all over herself. She's in this phase right now where she takes all of her cups, like her sippy cups and stuff, and she like shakes them up and down and tries to get um, the liquid out of it and it's really annoying. Um, so hopefully this doesn't bite me in the butt and she just does that. Um, we may end up, we started, um, we have a gardening set for her. And so we started going outside and doing that. She does have like a little um, like water can, whatever, but maybe she could use this outside as well if all else fails. But I thought it was super cute and super springy. So that was $5. I got her some rain pops to put in her basket um, whenever she has a good week or a good day at school. I usually will take her to the store and get her a little treat. Um, I may have talked about this before, but we've had a biting issue. She's, she's just, I don't know. She just gets frustrated and she just chooses to express her frustration by biting her friends. So we're working on that, but if she does well, um, maybe I can give her a little sucker. Um, last night I gave her a popsicle because she has done well so far this week. Um, and also she's teething and so it probably felt good on her gums. But anyways, got these little ring pops and this three count of ring pops was actually only a dollar. So next I got her some Raw Sugar Kids Bubble Bath and Body Wash. Someone gave this to her as a, I think it was our friend Kristen. She gave this to her as a birthday gift. It was a different flavor, but we really, it smells so good. And I know scented things are not always the best, but um, it's just bubble bath. Um, so I decided to get this again for her because it actually does really good bubbles. This is the strawberry vanilla flavor. And this was $4.97. It's the Raw Sugar Kids brand. Um, I got one of these little Disney um, Mickey Mouse and Minnie eggs, and it comes with a collectible minifigure, stickers. I don't know how small the little figurine is going to be, so we'll kind of have to play that by ear. She is in that phase where she puts, because she is teening, because she is two, she puts almost everything in her mouth. So I'll just have to see how big it is. But this was $3.98, so we'll add that to her little basket. And then last thing, I got these little pop fidget bags and they're bunny rabbits. So I got one for Flora and then I got one for her little bestie, Morgan. This will be her little Easter gift to her friend Morgan. And so it's got like the pop, you know, the popular thing right now is these little fidget things where that they pop in and out. And then it's also like a little bag so she can put things in it and carry all of her little two-year-old essentials. And it does turn into like a little purse. So I thought this was super cute. So, and these were $5 each. So yeah. So that is everything that I got for her basket. Um, looking at it now, I don't know if all of these things are going to fit in here. Yeah, that's a little it might be a little this might be too small I may have to go get another basket so I am going to put her basket together and show you guys what it looks like but I would say all together I probably spent let's see five dollars five ten fifteen this was about $4, so 19 
So it's five dollars. So twenty-four, five dollars, thirty, or twenty-nine. It's about three dollars. So thirty-two, and then this was a dollar. So about thirty-three, and then this little pail was about a dollar fifty. So we'll say I spent about thirty-five dollars on all of her Easter stuff, which I know you can just buy pre-made. Easter baskets, which honestly I may end up resorting to whenever she gets a little bit older, but I am very, I probably have said this before. I just like to buy things that I know are going to be used and useful. So that's why I kind of went this route of buying all these individual things because they're things that I've been wanting to get her. She enjoys like the musical instruments, the cutting board, um, you know, the bubble bath. These are things that she's going to be able to use as opposed to the pre put together Easter baskets are usually like full of candy and full of just like, kind of like, um, st like, I don't want to say rinky dinky stuff, but like stuff that isn't going to be used as much and I will find probably just scattered around the house. So that was my idea of getting all of these things and $35, I mean, I don't feel like that's too much. I think those pre-made baskets run, you know, between 20 and $40, depending on how big of a basket you get. So that's was my idea going into this and I probably bought, more than I intended to, but like I said, it's all things that we will end up using for her. So I think I'm gonna have to go get a different basket. I have an Easter basket downstairs. So I, and it's a little bit wider that, and I'll be able to fit all this stuff in there. And then I think I have some Easter eggs that I'm not gonna put anything in them, but I can just kind of like scatter around it and it'll look more decorative, if you will. So I'm gonna go get that Easter basket and then we will work on putting it together. All right, so we are back. These are some things that I kind of scrounged up downstairs I had left over from last year. This little sign says Easter Bunny stop here. So I'll probably set this next to the basket just as a little decorative piece. Um, she already had these little bunny ears from last year. She wasn't a huge fan of them, but she recently did find them and has been um, wearing them around the house. So I'm just gonna take advantage of already having these and put these in the basket. I got some little tissue paper. I may put this on the bottom to make it more decorative. And then I already had the eggs from last year as well. So let's put everything together. It may not look as beautiful as, um, some people's baskets might look, but it's the effort that counts, right? So here we go.
All right, so that literally took like five minutes to put together and I think it turned out really good. So hopefully this will give you some simple ideas on what you might wanna put in your Easter basket if you do Easter. I just, again, really recommend getting things that are useful instead of just things that are gonna kinda cause clutter around the house. Trust me, we have more. If you saw my living room right now, I kind of had to like clear this space. <laughs> Um, but we have more than enough clutter and I currently see a blueberry under the couch, you know, having a toddler, you're just never going to not have clutter, but for you as a mom or a dad or a parent, if you just trying to minimize that in any way, I know for me is definitely helpful. Hopefully it will be helpful for you. And even if you have to use things that you already have, um, I'm not particularly good at saving things. I'm trying to do that a little bit more so that I don't have to buy as much the following year and I can reuse things from the previous year. That is something that I'm trying to work on, but I think that this turned out well and Walmart really does have a lot of good options for Easter basket fillers and so highly recommend going there. I haven't really checked out Target or anything like that, but had a really good experience with um, getting some good finds at Walmart. So I hope that this was helpful and that you guys have a wonderful Easter holiday um, or however you celebrate. Some of you may not do the whole basket thing. I kind of, you know, debated on whether I wanted to or not, but my mom always put together the best baskets and um, I th she still usually gets us an Easter gift and that's always just been something really special to me. My nanny and papa always give us a, um, a chocolate Easter bunny. That's one of the reasons why I didn't get an Easter bunny for her baskets because I already know that they're going to get us all one and she'll have one and we don't need 16 chocolate bunnies laying around this house. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. So. That's why I didn't get any chocolate because I already know it's coming. Um, and somebody will probably get her some peeps, which I'm not a fan, to, fan of. I just, like personally, I just don't like eating them. They're just basically pure sugar, which I know is like what people usually like about them. And I don't care if she has any, if someone gives them to her, sure, she can have them, whatever. But I just was like, I'm not buying those. <laughs> um, so yeah, so... That's kind of why I limited the candy and chocolate and whatnot um, because I know she's going to be get, getting them in some capacity. So. so that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that this was helpful in finding some simple ideas for your child's Easter baskets. And I just wanted to say, um, I know it's been a while since I have posted a video. I think it's been about two and a half weeks. And I really enjoy making these videos, but I right now in this season of my life, it's just so crazy working a full-time job and whatnot. Um, I really enjoy making the shorts. Um, they're just a little bit easier to do. And whenever something comes up and I want to make a little longer video or something to add to my video diary, if you will, um, then I will do that. But I'm just really enjoying getting like the short snippets of our lives and posting those. And I think they're just as efficient and goes with what my t idea of starting this channel was. And that's just to kind of have home videos and memories to share with my family and uh, my friends and anyone who else who wants to you know, be a part of our lives and kind of watch us grow as a family. And so that was what I was aiming for. And I think that the shorts are um, meeting that need too. So yeah, so I just wanted to kind of let you know that that's why I haven't been posting longer videos as much. It's just, you know, right now, sometimes simpler is better. And yeah, so just wanted to put that out there. But I will be seeing you guys, whether it's in another video or in a short. Um, I usually post them almost every day, if not every other day, every couple of days, just depending on what's going on. I mean, I don't always have things to show, so just whatever I 
feel led to, that's well, that's what I do. So anyways, all right, I will stop talking. I hope you guys are doing well in whatever season of life you are in and that you find positivity in every day and joy in all situations, even when it's extremely hard to find that. But I just really hope that anyone who is watching this um, really tries to, to do that. So all right, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.